and that's what you get for drinking my milkshake. Hello there. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Samson. I'm the grave digger in these parts. Anyway, let's get on with what we're here for. More importantly, what I'm here for, what you're here for. Each week, we're going to revisit a classic movie. And this week, we're going to revisit George Romero's masterpiece, Night of the Living Dead. So, everyone gather around and enjoy. What's it say? Cream? Scream. Oh, scream. Ah! <laughs> They ought to make the day the time changes, the first day of summer. What? Well, it's 8 o'clock and it's still light. A lot of good the extra daylight does us. Now, we've still got a three-hour drive back. We're not going to be home until after midnight. Well, if it really bugged you, Johnny, you wouldn't do it. You think I want to blow Sunday on a scene like this? You know, I figure we're either going to have to move Mother out here or move the grave into Pittsburgh. Well, she can't make a trip like this. Oh, you know that she can't. Is there any of that candy left? No. Look at this thing. We still remember. I don't. You know, I don't even remember what the man looks like. Johnny, it takes you five minutes. Yeah, five minutes to put the wreath on the grave and six hours to drive back and forth. Mm -hmm. Mother wants to remember, so we trot 200 miles into the country and she stays at home. Well, we're here, John, all right? Hey, gentlemen. Good. We're coming back on the air after an interruption due to technical problems. Oh yeah, oh yeah, J just shut that off. I'm sure that wasn't important at all. No. Nothing wrong with the radio. Must have been the station. Which row is it in? Lost an hour's sleep on the time change. I think you complain just to hear yourself talk. There it is. Uh. 
I wonder what happened to the one from last year. Each year we spend good money on these things. We come out here and the one from last year is gone. Well, the flowers die and the caretaker or somebody takes them away. Yeah, a little spit and polish, you can clean this up. Sell it next year. Wonder how many times we bought the same one. Hey, come on, Barb. Church was this morning, huh? Hey, I mean, praying's for church, huh? Come on. I haven't seen you in church lately. <laughs> well... Not much sense in my going to church. Do you remember one time when we were small, we were out here? It was from right over there. I jumped out at you from behind the tree, and Grandpa got all excited, and he shook his fist at me, and he said, Boy, you be damned to hell! <laughs> remember that? Right over there. Well, you used to really be scared here. Johnny. Hey, you're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child. Look, they're coming for you. Look, there comes one of them now. He'll hear you. Here he comes now. I'm getting out of here. Johnny. And what's gonna happen if you don't get off? Hey, hey, if you do something to me, that means there'll be no host. And then that results in no show. Who needs you anyway? I'm full of fucking, I'm full of shit. All right. Uh, hey, let's see what the lady with the hair thinks about this. What well, she does. Maybe she'll give me some tips. Ah. Side swiped a tree, now it won't drive anymore.
Jeez, no manners. You don't even check if anyone's home. You just break in. That's fine. Who cares? This guy looks pretty good for a zombie. I'm just saying. That head looked real, huh? That was my cousin! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I take that back. What time? Okay, I'm gonna go get eaten, all right? We're gonna finish this all, this great movie when we come back next time. Okay, bye! <laughs>